Well, I've been Chancellor of Leeds University for 13 years. We led the way in the 19th and early 20th century for public philanthropy in libraries, in hospitals, in universities, and on and on it went. And then the state came in and the state took over a lot of those responsibilities, which was very good. And it did great work. But now the state is pulling back. And I can't see how a major university is going to continue to grow as Leeds without philanthropy on all levels. The world of research it constantly changes for me because knowledge moves on. But what the campaign is offering the university is the ability to accelerate what we believe are the key challenges that face us. Climate change is probably the most pressing problem we have in the world today, but solving it is also one of the hardest jobs. We work on a huge range of topics, and we don't just work in the university, we go out around the world to try and find solutions. The universities that are catching up in this country are the richest and the richest in every sense, the richest in their traditions, in their determination to develop their research, in the money that's coming in, and in their ambitions, and their ability to draw in students. Now, we can do that at Leeds, if you take what we're doing in bioengineering. So we've been working on active lives and joint replacements for hip and knee joints for over 20 years. In the future, instead of getting a metal and a plastic knee joint, uh, you will get a biological scaffold which repairs itself. And the key to this campaign is if you give X, whatever it is, we can tell you where that's going. Whether it's going to students, whether it's going to climate change, you choose, come in with us, do it. That's very important for any giving, I think. Arts and culture have been hugely important to the University of Leeds. Obviously these things develop and move on. We can't just have a static archive that's the past. We need to develop and nurture it for future generations to ensure the legacy that's already here. The Brotherton Library in Leeds, which was an endowment of the place, the books and the money to put in great librarians. Outside Oxford and Cambridge, that's the greatest university library in Britain and probably in Europe. It's quite an achievement, and that's happening all over the campus in a quiet way. Here at the University of Leeds, we're going to really focus on some essential issues about the nature of society and the nature of business. At the heart of this theme is to engage directly with major stakeholders, people out there in society, policy makers, out there in business, innovators who can really make a difference. I came from a very poor background. In that time, I won scholarships, like a lot of people in my generation, and it was easy. Now, scholarships are limited, uh, finance is heavy, and those students have to be helped. And part of our campaign is directed to that. I was never a very confident person at all. I, I didn't think I could go to university. None of my family had any A-levels or GCSEs even. So for me to think that I could go to university, that was a really big deal. If you have scarcely any money and you're serious about studying and you've worked at it, we will see you through. When I got sort of the letter through saying that they'd given me this scholarship or they'd offered me the scholarship, it was one of the happiest days. For me, it was like, okay, well, for once, someone can actually believe that I can do something like this. It's a great privilege to come to a university like Leeds um, and I want students to have a whole range of opportunities so that actually they can go out into the world and have a great career but also make a difference and make a difference to other people's lives. Leeds will keep going on being a good university. It's always attracted good teachers, it's always attracted good students, it's always had well-run departments. It's a good university but to grow that's the key. If we want Leeds to grow and therefore attract more great researchers, attract more great ideas that change the world, these things are changing the world. If you want to do that, we have to grow. 
who gains is what you want to know when you give money. I'll tell you who gains. The students who come to university, the future of the university is a teaching institution, the future of the university is a research institution, and therefore the future of the country as a country which is basically provoking the increase in wealth through increasing knowledge. The biggest thing is about having brains. You know, it, it's having those academically uh, brilliant people who see something that perhaps seems a little off the wall to begin with, um, but in the end uh, is the lead that you, you require. I'm proud of giving students an imaginative range of opportunities. This was the difference between having a life <laughs> and just kind of disappearing into the background. I just say give generously and go that extra mile, go beyond the point where you normally go, because it will be well worthwhile, you get a great feeling of satisfaction, and that's what it's about in my view, it's helping others. Well, wherever you are in the world watching this, and I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I'm sure you, because you watch it, you're taking notice of it, and you want to be part of it, I want to say thank you very much, because already, by doing this, you're entering the foothills of our campaign, and now what we've got to do is to climb the mountains, and I hope you'll come on that journey with us.